Hey guys, I'm back! A lot of people have been asking me how I make my coffee and at first I thought it was weird because I mean it's pretty straightforward but still a lot of people have been asking so I guess I'm gonna film myself making coffee Also I sound a little sick, I don't know what's happening I took a nap a few days ago and when I woke up I just didn't feel good so uh bear with me okay so before i get into this i actually have two ways of making coffee the first one is using instant coffee so i'm pretty sure everyone can do this at home um, but the second way is using cold brew which i actually drink and prefer more over the instant coffee just because for me it's a lot easier but i am aware that not everyone has a like thing that can make the cold brew so yeah i'm just going to show you guys the two different ways i make coffee so the first thing I do is boil some water and then in a little cup, I add two teaspoons of instant coffee, a little less than a teaspoon of some cocoa powder, and the same amount of brown sugar. I fill the cup about halfway full with the boiled water and mix. To cool the coffee mixture down, I put it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. Essentially, you just want it to be room temperature before you add the ice because if you mix it in with ice already, it's just going to get watered down. So I also typically make a sweet cream. It's really easy. Essentially, I just take some all-purpose cream. I have a little mug here and I just fill it up to like one-fourth. It's not super precise, but that's because I don't really care about measurements because it's usually super early in the morning when I make this and I'm still super groggy and super cranky so they don't really matter to me as long as it tastes good honestly uh, you can just use like sweet and condensed milk but I find that too sweet which is why I like to make my own and then after that I just put like uh, a teaspoon maybe two teaspoons of some sugar if you do this at home it's really nice because you get to control the amount of sugar you put in the sweet cream or in your coffee for that matter because i don't know like i love starbucks but sometimes it's too sweet and i'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave until it's warm so that the sugar dissolves i sound like a chef this is exciting me yeah and then after that i'm gonna taste it see if it tastes sweet enough and if so then i'm just gonna put this in the fridge for the rest of the week because this is going to last me the whole week so yeah So right now, I'm just filling up my mug with some ice. I added my coffee mixture, a little bit of almond milk. You can use whatever milk you want. I'm just lactose intolerant. And then a couple teaspoons of the sweet cream I made earlier. <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes so good. I'm on my loft right now. I wanted to film here for the aesthetic and the lighting because I think it's really cute. I got my iced coffee. You can answer some questions because I haven't posted a video in so long, so I wanted to catch up with you guys. A lot of people are asking me how's college. We just finished our hell month, which is October, and it was hard. It was pretty rough, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I made it through and yeah, a lot of people also asked me how am I outside of school. I'm trying to be transparent here, but there was a time that I wasn't okay mentally, but I was able to get through it. And now I'm living my best life. How different is college and high school? Off the top of my head, I think it's the freedom and the liberty to do anything. I don't know, because when I was in high school, I couldn't leave the campus during school hours. So I was in school for seven to eight hours every single day. Whereas in college, if I have a break, like even for an hour, my friend and I usually go out to get some food or just to breathe because it is really suffocating just staying inside the campus. Who's your favorite UAAP player? Oh, this is so exciting. So for those of you who don't know, I really like watching UAAP basketball. I've been watching it since I could walk because my parents used to bring me to the games. But now it's different because I actually go to the school that I support and it's so fun. Quick little backstory, I used to always have a favorite player but surprisingly this year I don't have any. And I'm being super honest here but 
seriously. I just really love the team dynamics and the system of Ateneo. So none of them really stand out for me because their whole team stands out for me. <laughs> and also, we're in the finals. So that's so exciting. Also, you guys, my mom is crazy. She hasn't missed a single game this season. Yay! Live. How do you manage your time in college? Oh, this is a rough one. Dude, it's just self-discipline because it's so hard to start on like an essay or start reviewing for a long test that's two weeks from now. So it's really just self-discipline. Um, nothing more than that. A friend asked me if I'm single. Um, the answer is yes, but no. What do you feel that you're now studying in Ateneo? Ateneo is my dream school ever since I could remember. And for the first two weeks, I was still like super in awe. But I'm past the honeymoon stage. I I'm having a fun time. But it's also really hard. I did not expect it to be really, really difficult. Favorite movie genre? I like this question, you guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love watching films. I have a Letterboxd account, which is essentially just a platform where you can rate films. I think my favorite movie genre is... I don't really know what you call it, but it's, it's those movies that are smart and they make you think. One main example of this is Inception. Oh my gosh, you guys. Inception. I think I want to do like a video just talking about my favorite movies. You know, I, I want to do that. Let's do that. There are a lot of you who ask me how college is so far. And I know I answered it already, but I just want to expound on it. It's just been a constant cycle of me saying to myself, you can get through this week, you can get through this week. And then the weekend comes, then I have fun, then I rest, and then I study a little bit, and then the week comes again. I don't have time to breathe. Like, I don't. I Can we appreciate the sky right now? It's blue! So cute. Also that, so pretty. You know what? It's been a long time since I admired the outdoors because I am always locked up in my room crying and studying. So the next thing I'm going to make is my cold brew coffee. Now this is the thing that I use to make it. This is from Soul Hand. So essentially how it works is that I put the coffee grounds in this thing, put like ice and water in this thing, and it drips down to here. It may be a little intimidating, but I swear it's super easy to set up. Let's do it. Okay, this is not the most ideal setup, but you know it works. So we have this jar of coffee beans here. I don't know where it's from. You know what? I trust my dad, okay? It's probably good. So I'm just going to grind up some coffee. I usually put about two scoops because that's what my dad told me to do. But maybe we'll do three scoops today. I grind it for 10 seconds. I don't really know the science behind it, but I guess that's fine. So we have our cold brew thingy. I'm going to take this part. I have a coffee filter, I'm just gonna put that here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are holes. That's where the coffee will drip down. Yeah. Ah, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. So this is our thing of coffee and I made a mess. I'm so sorry, I will clean that up. Now I'm just going to fill up this top part with ice. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water just to help the ice melt. And there's a little twisty thing that drips the water down. And you're going to want to make sure that it drops every second or so. Not super fast, not super slow either. I'm just going to leave this in my fridge overnight. And when I wake up, I should have coffee. What up, guys? It's the next day. It's 10.30 and we are going to finish making our cold brew. I'm so sorry. Okay, so... This is the cold brew. Um, it's not a lot, but it's enough. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see the coffee swirls and things. But I actually always put it here. Uh, this tumbler, a lot of people always ask me where it's from, and guys, it's from Starbucks. So essentially, it's the same as the instant coffee method. Over ice, I just put the cold brew. Fill the rest with some almond milk and the sweet cream. Okay, this is the coffee. Looks good. Taste test. <laughs> oh yeah. 
This is super different from the instant coffee method because it has less sugar. It tastes more mature in a way because the cold brew really shines. So yeah, this is how I make my cold brew. What I drink every single morning. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned how I make my coffee. It's also November 1st when I'm filming this. So happy November, guys. You only have two months left. I'm super pumped for this month because it's Thanksgiving month. And I really love Thanksgiving. So I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay, bye. Uh, make this coffee. It's really good. <laughs>